We are facing a government shutdown, which could impact tens of thousands of Americans, hundreds of thousands of federal employees. We know that the government doesn't need to shut down. Those services can be paid for if billionaires and, their corporate and big corporations finally pay their fair share. The budget deal that Republicans forced holding the economy hostage earlier this year eliminates much of the IRS funding that we need for enforcement. But now we're hearing in this hearing more and more attacks from the Republican majority trying to cut IRS funding from the Inflation Reduction Act. And that funding we need not only to go after billionaires and big corporations, but we need it in order to reduce our deficit. Thank you, Chair. The Republican majority is hurtling towards shutting down basic services for people across the country in just two weeks, shutting the government down, shutting the country down. And while Democrats, and frankly even Republicans in the Senate, have said, no, we want to keep this government open. Let's just keep it open the way it is, or let's stick to the deal that we already agreed to to keep it open. It seems like the Republican majority wants to close it while demanding unreasonable things that'll never pass, like kicking 100,000 kids out of their Head Start and preschool programs, kicking 20,000 working class people and seniors out of their housing, slashing funds for things like public education and climate action. And I get asked by my constituents back home in Texas, why would they do that? Um, and to me, I think back to the very first votes I took on legislation under this Republican majority, which were votes to cut IRS funding so that billionaires could get away with cheating on their taxes, cut IRS funding so that big corporations could get away with not paying their fair share. And that's what we're dealing with again in this hearing. As we have uh, keep on walking down this path where we could wind up in another government shutdown caused by the Republicans, we're having a hearing blasting the Inflation Reduction Act. And the Inflation Reduction Act, signed by President Biden, is the first time in my lifetime that I've seen a bill passed that finally holds corporations accountable to paying their taxes. Remember, in 2021, before the Inflation Reduction Act was passed, the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy reported that at least 55 of the largest corporations in America paid no federal income taxes. And a 2021 paper from the Treasury Department estimated that the wealthiest 1% owe 160 billion in unpaid taxes each year. But finally, under this law, we take climate action, we address rising energy costs, we address rising healthcare costs, and hold corporations accountable by setting a 15% minimum corporate tax rate. This is overwhelmingly popular with the American people. So House Republicans have taken up to making false claims about the Inflation Reduction Act to scare people. I've been asked in union halls, walking down the street in grocery stores by people saying, well, doesn't the Inflation Reduction Act hire like 87,000 new IRS agents? And they've heard this propaganda on the radio. They've heard it pushed out by right-wing officials. In fact, it was stated uh, by the chair as she opened up this meeting. But to put this politely, that is false. The IRS funding in the Inflation Reduction Act, one, improves technology and customer service so constituents don't have to keep waiting for days or weeks to get answers from the IRS. And second, it sets up the resources necessary to make sure large corporations and the wealthy have to pay their fair share. Mr. Higgins, is it correct or incorrect that the Inflation Reduction Act is hiring 87,000 new IRS agents? That is incorrect. Thank you. In fact, according to one article uh, and to much of our research, the IRS uh, funding is just to get the number of employees back at the IRS where we were a decade ago. Uh, this article appeared in Time Magazine titled, Trump Allies Are Attacking Biden for a Plan to Hire 87,000 New IRS Agents, But That Plan Doesn't Exist. I ask unanimous consent to insert this article into the hearing record. We are facing a government shutdown, which could impact tens of thousands of Americans, hundreds of thousands of federal employees. We know that the government doesn't need to shut down. Those services can be paid for if billionaires and, their corporate and big corporations finally pay their fair share. Mr. Higgins, do you know that if we fund the IRS agents that we need, do we know if we fund them, does that increase the deficit or does it actually decrease the deficit? 
That will help recoup uh, lost revenues right now to close the tax gap and will reduce the deficit. So we can reduce the deficit and have better funding for our programs if we stick with things in the Inflation Reduction Act and have those minimum corporate taxes. I discussed this in a July committee hearing and I asked the chairman if we can finally have a hearing in this committee uh, to start looking at corporate tax cheats and how the wealthiest people in this country uh, get away with not paying their taxes. And I heard from uh, Mr. Sessions that he was open to that and I hope, Chair, that we consider finally having a hearing on this important topic. And I yield back.